time did he shoot her? He shot her because he likes to shoot people. You can't win a case unless, unless we dig the bullet out of her head and hand it to you on a platter. You a cop. You're supposed to be a pro. You can't tell me that. That, that could be your Cheryl in there. Now, you can't tell me that. Don't get to you. Right, Cajo. <laughs> 12A99 reporting a sniper. 13A9, 13A9, John X Ray Paul. 8839, no water warrant, Roger. Trianum 88, 3888, see the woman, a 415 fight. 2701, Wilder, code 2. 13 Zebra 20, 13 Z20, go to tech 2, Zebra 223, Roger. While in Lawrenceville, the site of the 71 quake, life goes on as usual and no one's worried. Especially I'm going to get you, Johnny. Boy, am I going to get you. All right, I'll please you, too. I'm right here to hear the news. <laughs> U.S. Geological Survey and Caltech scientists are currently pushing for an expanded network. <laughs> Joe, come on out. Thanksgiving only lasts once a year, man. Turkey's gonna die of old age. From the 1930s to 1960, the ground in the Joe? Hey, honey. Hey, old girl. Yeah, Joe, you like some kind of refugee for, man. What? Don't you, don't you ever do your laundry? What? Like boy. Gravity makes the dirt fall out. Why don't you move into a more decent trailer court, man? Parking lot, I can walk right on over the wood. And this picture here, you're gonna go blind watching that thing. Let me fix it for you. No, oh, no. It's that picture where you fix my marriage. You remember? Why are you gonna pull in a station with a with an antenna made out of clothes hanger wire? I like this antenna and I like this picture just fine. Huh? Don't be stinking up my home. Let's go. terrorist sniper it goes to homicide give me your reading i don't know freeway here's the dividing line between the monks and the east side delta it's like the berlin wall between the two of them they're rumbling each other across it all the time i'll tell you one thing got some shootouts around here like high noon i just checked in the vision docket records shots fired just about 15 minutes before this went down she could have caught a stray yeah well, are we going to eat turkey or go to work? You think it's gang related? I don't know. Could be. You? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys got it. There goes our turkey. I'll call Annette and tell her to put a hold on it. There he is. Hey there, Dracula. Trip on over here. What's happening? A little rumbling. 
Down by the freeway earlier today. Hey, man, you can't pin that on me. I mean, I gave all that up. Where were you around one o'clock? I was at home with my mama. You haven't been home with your mama in 20 years. Look here, little brother. I got this little old murder. Been hanging around for about a month. General description, you understand. Show could fit you, though. Well, what murder are you talking about? No, that's, that's cool, man. That's no, right. no, no, man, which one? No, it's all right. We'll just take a ride downtown and see whatever fits, bro. Unless you happen to know something about some shots being fired around 1 o'clock. Oh, Bubba's liquor store last night. Well, some East Side Deltas was messing with my friends, man. I mean, all my friends was doing was just driving down the street. Yeah. What'd they do after that? Headed down 106. Was that all? Didn't even read me my rights. <laughs> Six is one way westbound. That's not eastbound toward the freeway where the girl got hit. There they are. Well, it's Cracker Jack and Mr. Lean and me. Empty your pockets on the trunk. Hey, hey. What we got here? Oh, that ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. Little sticks of marijuana ain't nothing but a misdemeanor. Yeah, well, the boss is hot after new numbers this week. Yeah. Heard about a little shootout. Down by the freeway a couple hours ago. Yeah. Heard somebody got busted on up there. Somebody at Bubba's liquor store. Well, that first somebody were monks in a car. Yeah, well, they had two shotguns, man. Boom, boom, they were banging at my friends. Which way'd they go? Down 106, and those somebodies just kept right on going. 106th Street is a one-way street going west. That ain't what we're after. Hey, buddy boy, that's all we can do. All right, all right, hands on the... Better, better. Report to emergency. Report to emergency. Dr. Stewart. Sushizaki? Yes. Sergeant Bunsen Green. Joe Hirsch. We're police officers working on your daughter's case. We're going to try to find out who shot her. How is she, sir? She's still in intensive care. My wife's under sedation. They took her to a room. Can I get you guys coffee? No, thanks. We, we just have some. Let's uh, You want some? No. no. Who's taking care of your boy? My brother. He came in from India. He's a farmer. You think of any reason why somebody would shoot at you? No. The bullet entered the right temple across the midbrain all the way over to the left side, and it's lodged against the skull. The damage is extensive. And the bullet? What about it? The bullet stays. We can't get it out. I wouldn't even try. Well, you think it might be a 22? We got a couple of suspects in custody. No, it's a lot more like a 38. How do you know that? Well, the size of the entry wound in the skull. I was a surgeon over in Nam. Believe me, I know bullet wounds. Well, and she's got... Uh couple of days. A couple of days? Try a couple of years. Years? Then we're not dealing with the murder or manslaughter case then. She's uh, neurologically dead. No. She doesn't have a flat EEG. There's some tiny bursts of alpha and beta waves. <laughs> Normal brain activity. I mean, she could possibly come out of this coma at any time. Well, yeah, it's always a possibility, but it's super remote, man, and... She'll be severely impaired. It's not like Sleeping Beauty. Her body is going to decay because she can't move. Kidney failure, respiratory problems, pneumonia, osteoporosis. 
The bones get brittle and fracture if a nurse turns her over wrong. Skin care is a real problem. Infection. I'm more worried now about her autonomic body systems. They're there, but tenuous. Like gagging if she's choking. Or even breathing. All the stuff you take for granted. It's a symphony, man. An absolute symphony of a mess. reporting a sniper. 105 in Avalon. Officers need help. I didn't mean that, dear. Of course you didn't, Princess. I really am sorry. And I am very sorry. Take a look at this. I love the job. Looks like a 308 round. Anybody reading his rights? Yep. Anyone turn up the rifle? Uh, nothing yet, but still looking. Okay, Buffalo Bill. What you got to say for yourself? Nothing, man. I got nothing to say for myself. Given the cannon he was shooting, it should have blown her head clean off. But if the bullet got slowed up, First by this, then by the car window. Makes sense. These two points are in line with the glass from Shizaki's passenger window. Now, that could only mean one thing. Lewis Packer shot Mary Shizaki. Now, why in the hell would he do a thing like that? Now, let me uh, get this straight. This guy, uh, Popeye, a bunch of other guys just crowd into your crash pad and shoot through the windows. That's my guy. Uh, what kind of rifle they use? Uh, some kind of bolt action thing with a little, you know, jobber that you look through there. Scope. 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 <laughs> Popeye. What was you just uh, tell us about this Popeye? Well, just one of them guys. <clears throat> guys. Tell us about him. Just a bunch of guys, you know. I mean, I don't know their names or anything, you know. They drop by, drink a little wine, smoke some dope, <laughs> make a little bang bang. <laughs> You're bad guys, there's no question. You don't uh, know anything about this uh, station wagon? No. Why, why anybody would shoot this girl no. in a station wagon? No, I don't know nothing about no girl in a station wagon. So. I figured he had to give us something. Popeye is probably his man. It's safe. And uh, tell us, you know how many Popeyes there are in the Monica file? Can you tie this uh, Popeye in with our boy? Mm -hmm. I've been in touch with Lewis's case like for 12 years, and there uh, never has been any uh, Popeye connection. All right, just one thing. Why did he shoot her? He shot her because he likes to shoot people. Look, when Lewis was 15, he shot an eight-year-old girl in the stomach. I was on the case. I asked him why, and uh, he didn't know. Then, uh, when Lewis was 17, there was some kid running a quarter-mile oval track. Lewis put a 22 through his heart. I was at the autopsy. Nice neat little hole. Again, no reason. For that one, Lewis got 15 months in juvenile rehabilitation camp. They let him go, no longer delinquent. They're the experts now, huh? This must all be a mistake. Uh, 
There is a wino that runs around with uh, Lewis's mama. Now, he didn't have any street name on him, but uh, there's a chance. A chance that he could be your papa. Hey, Rachel, get inside and don't talk to no cops. Well, what do you want? Where's Papa? Why should I tell? Because if you don't, I am personally going to break both your arms and both your legs, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he always is, don't you know that? Tell me. Pool hall. While our game going on, peeping through the windows, walking through the door, what's the matter? Where were you at Thanksgiving? Why? Answer the man. In a hospital. Where and the when? I went in at 3 o'clock, didn't get out till 7. Service was lousy. I got cut up a little. And you weren't at Lewis's pad? Lewis who? Don't jab me, clown. Where's the gun? I ain't about to say nothing about Lewis. I'm living with his mama, you understand? And I ain't about to blow that scene. We're talking about assault with a deadly weapon, not matrimonial relations. You're on parole. We can report a violation on you right now for that stunt you just pulled in the pool hall. Do your thing, man. But I ride out on Lewis, I'm dead. What do you mean? I mean Lewis comes to my house. He borrows things from me from time to time. Now, I don't say nothing, and I don't object. Because Lewis can get right scary on it. Well, what makes you think we can't? We want Lewis. Now, deal. You're not listening. I tell you, I'll be dead. I'll never get to court. I won't be able to do you no good. Maybe we can work it out so as if you just give us the gun, you won't have to go to court. No one on the street has to know. Fine. Because that's the honest way I'm going to make a deal. All right, you go back to the pool hall. In 20 minutes, you call this number. And you tell somebody who might answer the phone where they might find something they might be looking for. Okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is somebody waiting to hear where I might find something. You want to bet this here has got Mr. Lewis's fingerprints all over it. I'm betting with you, my man. That's a neat shirt. <clears throat> you all got the same bad taste I have. We'd like you to, to testify as an expert witness that it's a bullet in Mary's head. Yeah, well, uh, if it's absolutely necessary, my time's in very short supply around here already. Hey, look, Doc. Look, we got the shooter, we got the gun, we got the shooter's prints on the gun, but we don't have the bullet. So, yes, your testimony is absolutely necessary. We have to show in court 
that this guy, Lewis, fired the gun that shot the bullet that's in Mary's brain. Our problem is the defense. They're going to say that we can't prove there's a bullet in Mary's brain because they know we can't get it out. So, if you can testify that it is a bullet wound with your NAM experience and all, maybe we got something. What if I could get you something stronger than just my say-so about the bullet? What if? You already said you couldn't get the bullet out. So maybe I can get you a picture of it. That there blob is no good. No, no, not that. We could shoot a computerized axial tomography. It's called an Emicat brain scan. It's a modified kind of an X-ray that takes pictures of the brain in slices, cross-sections. Well, the point is that it'll give you an exact silhouette picture of the bullet. All right, Dolores? Pull together a complete set of Mary Shizaki's medical records for me. I'll go see Pete Scanlon and see if we can do it. I hope so, baby. Otherwise, Mr. Lewis is going to take a walk while Mary is in there dissolving. Try to lock me up. You want me to die? You want to lock me up? You want to lock me up? You want to get rid of me? Stop it! You want to get rid of me? You want to kill 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 me? Okay, boys. I got this one. We got this one. Okay, okay. We know the family. Ah! 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 Psychiatric help badly because of Mary and everything. And that's I should convince her, so I tried. She went crazy. In Japanese, she asked me if I had another woman. Cracker Jack, because our man is not only getting us a high-resolution picture of the bullet off the Emmy Cat scan, but they can compete the exact caliber. They okay. can. And I wager you that it's going to come out point three zero eight Remington. Plus the weight and the density of the slug, which we can match with the gun and shells found in Lewis's room. Now, need I tell you what that means? means that we are going to trial. Right on. Systems were tenuous. Yeah. Now they went out. 
She went into acute respiratory distress. Oh, uh, I gotta call Mr. Shizaki. By the way, this is gonna cancel that Emmycat brain scan. Cancel? What the hell is he talking about? What happened? That's why I called you. I had to do a tracheostomy and insert suctioning tubes. And what has that got to do with taking a picture of her head? Uh, she's position sensitive now. We can't rotate her body through the scanning equipment. We can't pull her off the suctioning machines because fluids build up in her lungs. We don't get the hard evidence on that bullet. Mr. Lewis Packer's going to walk and we've already got him arraigned. Hey, hey, listen. If I turn her over the wrong way, she'll drown. Okay, looks like the only shot we got left, my man, is to go for a confession. Funny. Confession is no good unless it's on tape. Well, huh? can't tape him in county. Sheriffs won't let any tape equipment in the jail. Oh, We're just gonna have to get him on our home turf. But he... You need a court order. Transfer the body from county to division. Hmm? Well, but I don't think it'll do any good. Our best shot is to wait and hope for the murder case. Then we can get the bullet... What is it with you? What? You want her to hurry up and die? Hey, now, wait a minute. Well, she's still got a chance as long as she's breathing. She, she's got alpha burst and stuff. What is it with you? On, you on, can't win a case on, unless, unless we dig the bullet out of her head and hand it to you on a platter. All right. All right. I'm going to some lawyer. Thanks. Joe. This is a job. The involvement stops at the end of a shift. We're getting too personal. We're getting an attitude on it. I don't need your advice. You understand? I understand. I understand that you gave me that same advice, remember? I'd be seeing myself and them kids out there, and you'd holler at me for letting the street project itself into my life. Quote, you can't make the separation, y'all go drive a taxi cab. End of quote. Sir, we need your signature on this order. Now, we're very sorry to bother you at the very last minute of your busy day without trivial nonsense, but uh, that's the way it is in this little old world of bureaucracy. Uh, it'll have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, sir. Got... I can't wait until tomorrow. It's just a little old piece of nothing here, but we can't do nothing at all with it without your signature. You on see, it. this guy here, he went and he done this here, and then he went up and around and up and down and done this here, and then he done this and right? Right there. Sir? Well, I guess it won't hurt to see him again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Lewis, are you 24? Yes. And you live on the fourth floor? Yes. Were you born in 1952? Yes. Do you own a gun? No. Have you ever borrowed a gun? No. Ah, let's take a break. and valleys, but I got nothing for you, really. Sorry. Oh, Lord. Now, let's wrap it up. You know what's funny? He hasn't asked how he's done yet. They all ask at the end. But he's so cool, he isn't even worried. Yeah, well, my man is so cool, he just might even freeze to death in there. What do you mean? We'd, uh, like y'all try something on for us. I think we'll wrap it up. 
Oh, I'm tired. Say, uh, <clears throat> how did I do? Do? You did fine. So did I. Read you like a book, cover to cover. Picked up the gun. Loaded it. You pointed it at the station wagon. And you pulled the trigger. Can I have some coffee? Hmm? Coffee? Oh, take mine. I didn't even touch it. Mmm. Tastes good. Yeah, that's good coffee. It's, it's sweet, you know, I like that. He ain't going for it. Uh, can you do me a favor? Depends. Send for them two cops. I gotta talk to them guys. You know them two guys? You know the ones, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because that's what happened. Just like you said it. I want you to be careful. No, don't worry about it, That's Joe. I know what I'm doing. Honey, listen to me. At least I get sound. I don't want you to blow the sound. If you are taking my advice months ago, it wouldn't be this messed up. Yeah. Like I took your advice about my Betty Lou. Right? Huh? Just, just didn't do what I said. Mm. Give me an plot. I did exactly what you said. Up against the wall, woman. I'm showing you who's boss. <laughs> and she busts me one in the mouth. Had me cockeyed for nearly two hours. Well, you didn't do it right. And then, and then, <laughs> she takes or sells everything I own, including my house and pool, and goes back to Kentucky, leaving me with my heat and my badge in this here ratty old trailer. <laughs> oh, yes. And what remained of what used to be known as my credit, she ruined by buying out half the department stores on the way out of town. That, thanks to the advice of Sergeant Bunsen Green, was one hell of an exit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there it is. Good as new. Guaranteed by one Sergeant Bunsen Green. While you're fumbling around, the championship's getting away from me. It won't get very far. I told you it sounds all right. You are actually just wait, just wait. Is that a fact? Look yes, at that. How do you know? Nothing can prevent it. I knew it. I told you. I told you. Hey, what's that? Some kind of smoke signal? From I don't smoke know, but I'm right back. Is there anything else you'd well, like to All fix? you had to do was just let me fix it sooner, Joe. That's all. I mean, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Please, do What's the bottom line? The DA won't prosecute Lewis on the basis of the confessions. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding. Look, I wish I was. Now, look, I spent 45 minutes in there with him. It's the DA's opinion that the state ought to fire any public defender who couldn't bounce this one right out of court. It's a signed confession. Granted, it's a signed confession. Now, all Lewis has to do is take the stand and simply say, I lied or I take it back. And you're right back to square one. Fellas, what you can't prove that what's inside of Mary Sazaki's brain isn't, well, say a stone thrown up by a truck tire. A stone? What are you talking about, a stone? Well, can you prove it isn't a stone? You can't. Uh -huh. Because you can't get the bullet out of Mary's head. Now, that's a fluke, and it's a bottom line, and the office isn't prosecuting. Look, guys, the DA feels that you both did a good job with this one. You stuck with it when anyone else would have let it go, and I feel the same way. Weird, that's all. It's just too damn weird. gonna do nothing to me, man. I got a free ride. See you around. That's right. You get a freebie. You get a walk. 
you all sure are going to see us around. We're going to flag your package, my man. What does that mean, my man? It means you've been bought and paid for. <laughs> Tia. Lewis's package is flagged. Big red sticker on his file. R&I will call us any time and every time he's picked up. So pick this joker up if he's within 10 miles of any piece of mischief that goes down. Burglary, grand theft, auto, gas station, 211, any damn thing. Give us a holler. Thank you. Thank you very much. They didn't pick him up for jaywalking again, did they? No, sir. Suspicion of burglary. Liquor store. How close was it? Close enough. A couple of blocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Lewis. How y'all doing? What happened? Huh? Getting a little hassle from the tank, some of these cons? Maybe don't you know that cons beat up on creeps that hurt children because they're the lowest. to go, then there's this thing of working two jobs. <laughs> Last night I got cleaned up to go. Then I sat down for a few minutes in the chair. I woke up four hours later. It was 3 a.m. It was too late. <laughs> Marge still in the county? No. I got her out of there, put her in a private place. Well, it's expensive, but it's better doctors. She keeps asking the Lord to wake up her daughter. Please, wake up my daughter. That's what she says all the time. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I gotta put a set of lifters in the Lincoln. <clears throat> yeah, you uh, get some rest, okay? Okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, buddy. Folsom County? Down in Kentucky, where paradise lay. You should see them green fields. So, anyway, me and my daddy, me and my daddy sneak up on this stream, run out of this mountain, sneak up on this old stream real quiet. They can hear you. Just, just like the mayfly, the same. Hey there, Mr. Big Trout. See me up here, tapping on the water. Why don't you all try and get me? Huh? Big old trout. Never, ever hit that fly or any other fly my daddy could tie and cast. Smartest brookie trout ever. Hi, boy. What is it with you, man, huh? You, you're crazy or something? What are you talking to her for? 
You're lonely. You figure she's lonely too, huh? I mean, so she's your friend, man. Like she needs you or something. I don't think you oh, understand, Joe. Joe, Joe but hey, if you're lonely, what's the matter with me and Lynette? You don't come by the house anymore. Kids ain't seen you. You hang up. hanging around here all the time, man. You, Joe, you're getting crazy over this girl. I don't think you understand. Inside her head, she. She senses me. Oh, she, she is listening to me. Come on, Inside T.J., I... snap out of it, man. Her mother's around the bend. Tom is working himself into the grave with two jobs. I don't need you that way, too. I mean, you're a cop. You're supposed to be a pro. You can't tell me that. That, that could be your Cheryl in there. Now, you can't tell me that don't get to you. Right, T.J. You got it. I don't let it. What did you say he was in for this time? Suspicion of dealing coke. Hey there, Lewis. You're gonna pass through these revolving doors so many times, ain't nothing gonna be left of you. Get off my case! Get off my case. You ain't gonna stop, Lewis. Not for the rest of your life. shot at us and uh, put the gun in his mouth and uh, blew the top of his head off. I tell Mary about this. guy who blew up her head is dead? It's okay now? 
What's, what's she supposed to do then, huh? Wake, wake up like it's some fairy tale? But she can't hear you, Joe! She can't hear you. Station. 13 Zebra 5, John Frank William 899. 